Hi there everybody, this is Ms. Nelson here, and today we are doing Lesson 5.6 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math book. Lesson 5.6 is about number patterns. Um, this should be a pretty easy lesson. It's just trying to pick out the patterns in um, a problem. So, we're just going to start right on in with a problem. Daryl is making a pattern for a quilt. The pattern shows 40 squares. Every fourth square is blue. How many blue squares are in the pattern? Okay, so they did coloring in the first one. Now we need to count every four and color it blue. So one, two, three, four, color that blue. One, two, three, four, color that blue. One, two, three, four, color that one blue. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay, so we colored it in. And then our question was, how many blue squares are in the pattern? So then we just go back and count. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we had ten blue squares in the pattern, and then this question just asking us which squares are blue. Well, we colored in the number four box, the number eight box, the number twelve box, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight, thirty-two, thirty-six, and forty. So all those numbers were colored in. So now this goes back to this right here, this vocabulary word term. Each of those numbers that we colored in, or each of the objects in a pattern, are called terms. So the terms in this pattern are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and 40. So those are called terms. So that's all we had to do to solve that problem. Now down here it goes a little bit deeper. It says, what patterns do you see in the arrangement of the blue squares? Arrangement means how it's laid out. Well, I can see if I look in the first row, I have two. Second row, I have three. Third row goes back to two. Fourth row goes back to three. So it looks like the pattern in the arrangement is two, three, two, three. And then number two says, what patterns do you see in the numbers of the blue squares? Well, I already know, since I listed my numbers here, those are multiples of four. I could also say they're all even numbers. So those are the patterns in the numbers, the terms and the patterns in the arrangement, and also just figuring out a pattern using a model. So then the next thing would be, let me change the page. So the next thing would be finding a rule for a pattern. So say for example, they give you this pattern, five, 10, And then they want you to do the next one, two, three, four. What would be the next four numbers? So what is the rule, first of all? How do we get from five to 10? Well, we can either say add five, or possibly it could be multiply by two. So let's just do the adding five one first. If it's adding five, we'd be 15, 20, 25, and 30. If they wanted the rule to be multiply by two, we would do 20, 40, 80, and 160. So this next step is just finding the rule for the numbers and the patterns. 
So, and then you would just kind of describe it. Like, what do we notice about the digits in this, in this first one? Well, in the ones place, we have a five, then a zero, then a five, then a zero, then a five, then a zero. So we can describe a pattern in the ones place there. It goes five, zero, five, zero, five, zero. And then what about odd and even? We could say odd, even, whoops, that's supposed to be E, odd, even, odd, even. And then you could also say all these numbers are multiples of five. So you just want to kind of like look at the numbers, look at the pattern, and just describe it. Okay, so that is lesson 5.6. If you're in my class, I want you to put down the password cat in your planner so I know you watched the video. And if you have any questions, just feel free to leave me a message. Thanks.